I saw a post on one of the Star Stable groups that I'm in on Facebook the other day about if you could add or change something about Star Stable, what would it be? So I'd be interested to know what you guys think. I saw a lot of horse suggestions. As far as horses go, my suggestion would be unicorns because everybody loves a unicorn. Maybe it would be like the reward after a really long complicated quest chain or something like that. Um, but those would be fun. A few people said Pegasus, but as cool as they would be, you would not be able to fly. Flying is a very difficult mechanic to add to a video game. Um, just ask Blizzard who took forever to add flying mounts to their game and it only came in in certain areas. So I don't know if that's really a realistic expectation, at least not right now, how the game stands. But I mean, Pegasus are cool too. I would love to have them. Hello, James. Pony photographer. Oh, there's one of those funny looking horses. Ride down and take some pictures of the ponies on the barge. I'm going to print up some postcards and sell them to the tourists. Good idea, right? That is a great idea. What else you got for me, James? Take three pictures around Fort Pinta. What is this? The life buoys of the beaches around Fort Pinta are not where they should be. The wind blows them away from their designated places, and tourists use them as beach toys. They don't understand that buoys are life-saving equipment, and that and that must be in place when disaster strikes. Oh, I stumbled on my words there. There are four jetties around Fort Pinta that each need a life buoy, and the last one should hang at one end of the wall by the water below the fort. Look at that fjord! He's got a lovely hat on. <laughs> or wreath, I should say. He is a lovely wreath. Man, I can't wait to get a fjord. He looks shorter than my horse, though. <laughs> Beauty on the beach. I like it. Oh, that's scary. Ooh. Scary fabulous. Oh, that's fun. Sideways hair. <gasps> and they have it in blue. I noticed I did find... Ooh, that one looks like cotton candy. I did find a few uh, other haircuts in blue as well. I just wasn't completely sold on them. So I didn't get them, but I super appreciated that they were available in blue. That's a fun blue. Oop, pigtails. Funky looking. Hey, that looks like the Wendy's girl. Oh, that's super cute. This is for the picture taken. Yes. Well, oh. that's a great shot of that horse's neck. Great job. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful Danger Nova. <laughs> oh, I thought we did want to ride over here. Okay. Maybe it didn't count because my horse's face was in it. I believe there was some stuff on this side. Oh, excuse me. Oh god, don't fall. I run so crookedly. Booey. This is a nice little little hideout off the city. I wish this were a real place I would come hang out here. Booey numero tres. 
And we're gonna bypass that shark. Adios, shark. I don't know shark in Spanish. Oh, one more. I think it's over here. And then we will take pictures of the horses. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Oops, turn around, little buddy. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. There's that shark. He's following me. Ugh. Beautiful. Beautiful pony. Beautiful. Strike a pose. Lovely. I had to be in that one. I took the picture. I might as well be. Oh yes, your Vic pony. You like? Visit visit your Vic. Is it Oh yes, beautiful. Beautiful. My seal was in that one. He's adorable. That'll sell the most. I'm kind of surprised that more of these quests do not give XP to the horse. Because he had to carry me to all these places. See, I get XP, but the horse doesn't? Strange. James has sent our order. Great, you are the best. Thanks, Penny. Meet me and Polly at Pony Point, please. We need your help. Point Point? I think it's Pony Point, Penny. It's back behind John Carl's... John Carl. John Yarl's Crypt. Oh my god, Point Point is back behind John Yarl's Crypt. Pony Point. Between the crypt and the Silver Song River. I'll just fix a couple things, small things for- I'm struggling today. Goodness gracious. Where is this? Penny, you crazy lady. Well. Girl's crypt, I think, is over here somewhere. All oh, right, so because my horse has the hair at the bottom of his hooves, he cannot wear leg wraps, which is a little disappointing, but. I love him. But see, 3,000 for this beautiful bridal. Breaks my heart. Adios, shark. You'll have to get me another day. Aha! I wonder if we could go by way of the beach. I see it now. Penny. Of course she wasn't going to show up while I was standing there. Cause she was there. Thorny Banks. Hello. Hello, ladies. Muck muck. Hello, kittens. I got a ride with a fishing boat, so I got here faster than I thought I would. Great, good for you. There, now the fun work can start. We are going to put up the jumps on the course, put up all the signs, and rake everything up nice and clean. There's a lot to do, but with help, it should go quickly. Cadence, could you take the fences out and put them up? They are so heavy that it would be great if you could take them on your horse. That way, Polly and I won't have to carry them all over Pony Point, not Point Point. You can? Thank you. 
Come back when you are done and you could be the very first rider to test out the course. Yeah, I think they're lying to me, but let's do it. Why hey, that horse looks like Moon Diamond. Yay. Oh, I was gonna like wave or something. It always takes me way too long to like wave or anything. People probably think I'm mean. <laughs> oh, do I have the. Yes, I do. Bam. Oh. Oh, it put me in front of it. I thought I would outsmart them and place it down on the other side. They were like, nope. Nope. Hold up. Oh, this one gets two? I almost didn't see those sparkles. Somebody told me that after a certain level, the quest markers don't show up really on your map anymore, like the orange area, and I am terrified of that happening. What am I going to do without my orange markers? And what happened? Hello? Bam. Placing. Perfect! This is going to be super duper! Now we can test the track. Speak with Polly. This is super duper exciting! Super duper, Penny! Super duper! Super duper! Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Polly. We can super duper jump. Oh, man. Psh. I don't want to race in your silly pony race anyway. I call that discrimination. Meh, you have to be riding a pony. Meh. Meh. Oh, man. Going the wrong way. How do I end up in these places? How does this always happen? Oh, you know what else I found out? This is a good time to try it out, maybe. If we use our phone and we call for pickup... It takes us back to our home stable. I ain't even got us fret. She has cotton candy hair. It's beautiful. Heck yeah. Looking good. Hey, councilman. Have you seen the village clock has stopped? You have? I'm, I'm not noticed until just now, and it could have been broken forever in a day. We'll have to see to this. We can't have a broken clock now, can we, Cadence? Now listen, couldn't you run along to see Big Bonnie? She's the village clockmaker, and you can ask her to take a look at the clock. Big Bonnie? You haven't met her? Actually, it's been a while since I've seen her myself now that you mention it. Well, anyway, she lives over there in that yellow house above the steps. Say hello from me on it, sir. Knock, knock, knock. Excuse me, ma'am. Right there. You knock on the door, but nobody's opening. It doesn't seem as though anyone's home. There's a note stuck to the door, though. Take a look at what it says. 
Away on holiday, back in a week or two, or three. Big Bonnie. Hmm, this note looks like it's been here longer than just a week or three. It's probably best to take it back to the councilman. Oh god, Big Bonnie's missing. What are we gonna do? Who's gonna make our clocks? How are we gonna know what time it is? Is Big Bonnie on holiday? Let's ask Felix. See that squirrely little guy over here? Oh no, it's this guy. The big squirrely guy. Hello there! Have I seen the clockmaker? You mean Big Bonnie? Nah. You know, it's been a while, actually. I've not seen her in years. <laughs> years! This lady's been missing for years! <laughs> oh, man. I grabbed up the postcard and ran up to the tower, but it was totally empty. It was probably just a rat or something rustling around, but I forgot to bring the postcard back. Here's the key to the clock tower. Take care, though. Nobody's been up there for a long time, so you never know if something's broken or dangerous or if it's turned into some kind of horrible death trap. Good luck. <laughs> Come back when you found the postcard and try to avoid falling to a horrific death. All right. A long holiday. This poor lady's been missing for so long and nobody noticed. We're headed into the death trap. Oh, that's out. We need to go up. That was easy. Well, if it isn't that postcard. Lovely, thanks. Now let's take a look at it, at whether we can make sense of this. That clockmaker's handwriting looks like a spider tap danced all across the page. Hello, Felix, my old pal. Oh, it's lovely to be on holiday. I think I'm going to stay here with Barney. He's promised me I could sleep in his silo as long as I'm out of the way in the mornings so he can clear out the seeds and grains. It smells pretty nasty, and the flies are driving me crazy, but that's all part of the country charm. I like it, really. Like, really, really. I, I swear. Sometimes, though, sometimes I wish I could come home again. But that's impossible after all that's happened, you know? Ugh, I get so shaky and nervous just from thinking about the disaster I caused. Maybe you can come by and say hello sometime when the dust has settled a little? All you have to do is knock on the pipes outside the silo. I can pop out and greet you. Listen, please don't tell anyone where I am. This whole business has been terribly embarrassing. Your friend, Clockmaker Big Bonnie. Well, this poor lady! This postmark is like five years old. Oh my god. We need to go find this lady and help her out. I have to climb into the pipe. Stay here, Danger Nova. This is a job for people. 
Oh, oh! Here we are. So she was living in here with all this stuff? Uh oh. Is that her? She's not big. <laughs> ah! Oh my goat! A ghost! Help me! Oh, thanks. That's why you slap the clockmaker on the back. What are you? You don't seem to be a ghost. You're not a ghost, right? No? Oh, what, th what luck. Ghosts are the scariest thing I can think of. Why are you here? You've been looking for me? Why? What for? Fix the clock in Silverglade. Oh my, giddy gracious. Has the past finally caught up with me? I've dreaded this day for years. Ah, poor me. Why does this kind of thing always happen to me? Why? Why me? Why? <laughs> you give Big Bonnie another whack on the back. Oh good, she's gonna give us the backstory. Listen to the clockmaker's tale of woe. Will do. Once upon a time, many, many long, long years ago, there was a day that began in exactly the same way any other day might begin. I'd been helping the tailor in Silverglade Village with the repair of his sewing machine, and my next task was to wind up the town hall clock in exactly the same way any other clock might be wound up, in exactly the same way I'd done every week for years. To keep that clock going is one of the most important... No. The most important job in the whole village. Without a functioning clock, it would be total disaster. Well, I'm sure you understand for yourself what kind of massive catastrophe it would be. Except they haven't had a working one in years now. Anyway, when I walked through the village on my way to the town hall, all the villagers smiled at me and I could see the pride in their eyes as they looked at me. I could see it in their eyes, the pride, and it felt good. I went up into the tower, took out my special clock winding key, and began tightening the spring. And then, it happened. The catastrophe of catastrophes. Catastrophe. I wound the key in the wrong direction, Cadence. I was so full of myself after seeing all the villagers with their smiles and the pride in their eyes that I wound the key in the wrong direction. The cogs clogged, the spring sprung, the oil spoiled, and the clock stopped for the first time since it started. I was in a total state of panic. In my total state of panic, I ran straight home to my house, threw together all the most important belongings, and fled the village as fast as I could with tears in my eyes and sorrow in my soul. So this lady's been hurting all this time, and the councilman didn't even notice. You understand now, Cadence. As punishment for my crime, I sent myself into exile. There's no way in the world to make amends for this atrocity, and I could never dream of winning back the trust of my darling villagers. I'm doomed to die here, in the silo, surrounded by loneliness and wasps. Hated, cast away, forgotten. Lady, you crazy. The mayor doesn't even know. Come on. Oh, she wants me to sneak her out. Now she's being picky. All right, let's get her back on this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. She's in that little sack. <laughs> All right. Let's take a picture to always remember the clockmaker in the little sack on my horse. Hold it. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh! Alright. Oh my gosh! Oh, what a weird lady. Where's my horse? Oh my god, I thought someone else- stop, stop running. Stop running. Oh, hello you, good day, my name is Herman, I own a stable, I'm a horse lover, I love horses, hello! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we'll be back tomorrow, ma'am. Get off my horse. This is weird. I like her dress though. 